I'm going to show you how easy it is to pay a Flutterwave merchant with your bank account. So when a Flutterwave merchant sends you a payment link, or if you are paying for something on the online store, then you simply enter your name, your surname, your email address, and obviously the amount that you're wishing to pay. Here I'm going to enter 8 Rand. I'm keeping it in ZAR for South Africa and I'm clicking pay. Now normally I pay with my card and I'd enter my card details, but today I'm going to pay with my bank. So I click pay with bank and I click pay 8 Rand. And now it's just telling me I'm moving across to my bank account. So it opens up a new window and I select my bank from the options here. I'm selecting Ned Bank. So I'm now going to enter my internet banking profile details. So my username and my password and I click log on. And on the left, I can see the exact amount that I'm wanting to pay. And on the right, I have more than one bank account. So I'm selecting the correct one. And in this case, it's actually taking me via Ozo, which is a partner of Flutterwave, which will conduct this payment transfer. So it's going to have to verify this via my phone, as I normally do with any of these type of payments. I will approve it on my phone and the payment will automatically be successful. As a customer, I know I have made a successful payment and the merchant owner will know I've paid because they will receive an email and the email will show them that I have paid with bank transfer as well as all the other details around the transaction. It's that simple.